Hello and welcome to module three of Unlock Your Ancestral Storytelling. Module three is all about developing your own family tree archive in the We Are program. We'll go through a process of showing you how to upload your family tree from a GEDCOM file, how to navigate within your tree, and we'll also have a look at the demo tree where you can have an exploration on a fully fledged tree to get some ideas. Then you'll be able to plan out your own family tree archive and where you want to take it. We'll show you how to include some of your written stories, which might be in several different formats, but we'll focus in on one of those in section or module three called a thematic narrative. We'll include for you a template where you can create a plan to write your thematic narratives. And there are some more videos for you in the resource library. So the first thing to do is to get started with uploading your family tree. So I'm going to pause here while I get that ready for you. The first thing to do, of course, is to get your tree site ready using the We Are program. And if you've not yet done that, then you can still do it now by going to Get Started from their home page, which is at weare.xyz. Once you have that set up and you're ready to import your tree, then you'll log in so that you have access to all of the tools. I'm over here now in my tree area for We Are, and you'll see that I have a few trees in place, three of which are mine. And the final one is the demo tree, which everyone has access to. It's a great tool. So if I now want to create a new tree in here, I simply click on the Create a new tree. It gives me two options. Do I want it to be public or private? And you can change it at any time. So let's start with a private tree. And the next step is to import a GEDCOM file. If you don't have a GEDCOM file and you're starting from scratch, then you'll use this option down below. But today's lesson is all about how you can quickly create your tree here from your GEDCOM file. Now I have my tree over here in Find My Past and I have prepared for it today. I'm going to be using the McCulloch family tree and I have already started the export process and downloaded the tree to my files. So all I need to do now is to find where I've got that and import it here. So clicking on import the GEDCOM takes me to my files where I can go to the area where I have stored my GEDCOM files. And the one I want is this one, which is the most recent one for the McCulloch family tree. And you'll see here that in my filing system, I've kept all my GEDCOM files together so I know where to look. Clicking on open, we'll start the process. It gives you this title to begin with, which is the same as the title of the file. But if you want to change that, you can simply do that here. And I'm going to use the word demo at the end. So that is its name. And now I import the GEDCOM file itself. And that will take a few seconds to work. And then I'll be ready to start working on my tree. It wants to know, first of all, who is the home person for this tree. And this will be Alexander. And 
the time person is not me, so I'll take that off and put in confirm. And here we see the beginning of the McCulloch family tree. Here's my husband and myself. And at the moment, there are no pictures. It just brings across the raw data. But I can go to any one of these and it will show me who else I have in the tree. And you can see that it's quite a large tree at the moment. And I can move around within the tree simply by clicking on the name on each of those tablets. If I want to go back to the beginning of this tree, we just use the home key here. That takes you back to where you can see the key person. So it has its title, the McCulloch Family Tree Demo, and it's ready to go. At any time, I can edit the tree and I can begin to add photos for each of the people showing on the tree. So we'll just pause here and then I'll show you the next step. Now that we have the tree in place, it's time to start fleshing it out. And the first place to start is on the welcome page. Now you already have some information there on that welcome page that you can now edit. This has come from Simon himself, who is introducing you to this software. We now edit that and put in our own data that will help the readers of this family tree understand all about our tree. So in this section here, we're going to highlight what is there and I'm going to paste in place my own text. So I go across to where I've included my first bit of text. I use Double Writer for my story creation. Copy all of that, come back to where we are and in the text portion, just paste it in place. Looks like it's picked up the heading style for the whole text. So I will need to adjust that. And now that I've fixed that minor problem, I have the text of the welcome page for the origins of the McCulloch clans in Scotland, which I had previously prepared. And I've included just a little data about Scotland itself and the McCulloch clan. And this is to be done in the form of a story or a series of stories like a book. So the book is called The Echoes of Scotland, The McCulloch Clan's Origins and Legends. So you'll see over here on the right, I've now added a little image, which I had created as the book cover. And that will give a little focus for this welcome page. The rest of the welcome page is as Simon has designed it. I would leave that in place if I were you for the time being, because anyone who comes in to look at your tree can immediately go to look at the video tutorials for each of the sections below. So leaving all of that in place, I'm now ready to publish that. So I click the publish button. So that means anyone that comes in now to have a look at my McCulloch family tree will see this welcome page. So that's it. That's how you get started. It's pretty quick and easy as long as you plan ahead. So I'll go into more detail about you fill in other parts of your tree as we progress through the course.